hi, I didn't see you there. I'm waiting for the subway. The subway is a train that moves underground. Today, I'm waiting for the subway to go back to the treehouse. You know, I think I have a story about a young boy who rides the subway and all of the fun things that happen to him. Let's go take a look. Here it comes now. friends. In today's book, we're going to read about a subway ride. Oh, it's not an ordinary subway ride. It's going to be very different. Let's see what happens. Down in the Subway, story by Miriam Cohen, pictures by Melanie Hope Greenberg. It was hot in that subway train. Oh, yes. Oscar twirled round and round the pole. Every time he came around, Oscar peeked at the island lady. The island lady smiled a fine island smile. Would you like to know what's in this bag? Oscar looked at his mama. He was shy, don't you see? His mama smiled. Yes. Then the island lady reached down in her bag and pulled out the cool blue island breeze. Please, what else is in that bag, said Oscar. The island lady reached inside and pulled out the green Caribbean sea. Oscar ran right in and splashed and splashed. Oh my, he did enjoy that. Next, the island lady took out the picnic lunch from her bag. Aki rice, salt fish, the kalaloo and the sarsop soup, guava, pineapple and the coconut tarts? People on the train were just looking at that food. The fine smells, don't you see? You must try it now here, said the island lady. There's plenty for all. Yes, indeed. Don't you stop eating now, child. Just leave some crumbs for the little lizards. Mmm, said Oscar, and he ate another honey sweet tart. He couldn't help it, don't you see? Oh, listen now. The Calypso Man is coming, said the lady. The man can make a song about anything. Out of the island lady's bag jumped the Calypso Man. He sang, down in the subway, down in the subway, take the subway vacation. Get on at the station, look at all the people all smiling, taking the trip to the island. Singing, Aki rice, salt fish, kalaloo, sarsop soup. And coconut too. Once again, Mon. Aki rice, salt fish, kalaloo, sarsop soup, and the coconut too. The Calypso man laughed and he jumped right back in the bag. Now, don't you know that island lady's bag was wiggling and bumping? A whole steel band got themselves out. And didn't they play? Those drums, walking big like thunder and dancey like little raindrops on a tin roof. The lady was nodding her head, tapping her toes and snapping her fingers. This is the jump up music, she told Oscar. Oh yes, she reached in the bag and pulled out an island town. And don't you know, everybody in that town started doing the jump up. Well, all those people in the train got so tingly, they just had to dance. 
All the while, the subway train was racketing along the track, shaking with all that fine music and dancing. 125th Street Station, called the conductor. Now, don't you know, that's just where Oscar and his mama and his baby brother had to get off. The subway train pulled out of the station with the iron lady, cool brew breezes, green seas, callaloo and sarsop soup, calypso man, steel band, little lizards and island town. Goodbye, dear child. Goodbye, waved the island lady. After that, when Oscar and his mama and his baby brother went on the subway, they looked for the island lady's train, but they never did see it again. Never mind, honey, sweetie, Oscar's mama said. His papa said, I like to hear you singing that song. Well, don't you know, Oscar sang it so much, pretty soon his baby brother could sing it too. The End Oh, hi. That was such a great story. It made me want to dance and eat. She had so many different foods in her bag. You know, I have some friends coming over to have a snack. I can't wait to share with them. So, uh, what, what kind of fruits do you think we have here? Wow. This one looks like a pineapple, except it's really, really small compared to other pineapples. It's this a is a pineapple. kiwi. That's a kiwi? <laughs> This one is a coconut with a bunch of things that look like tiny little sticks that are going crazily off it, like, we we are sticks. <laughs> so it's a, it's a coconut with, with coconut. some sticks. Yeah. I think that's coconut. Ah, oopsie. Coconut. <laughs> coconut. <laughs> oh. What, what else we got? What is that thing? Oh, it's it's a dragon fruit. It's slimy. Oh, Ooh, it is slimy. It's slimy. It's yeah. a dragon fruit. A slimy dragon fruit? Slimy. Mm -hmm. That looks like something on my planet. It's cut <laughs> open. Call it a thump. And you can see a bunch of seeds, mm. and they're black. Oh. And the inside is all white and slippery. And tiny seeds. Ooh. And the kiwi is green on the inside with little seeds that look kind of like black with a little purple in them. This pineapple's leaves are, are kind of prickly. Kind of prickly? Mm -hmm. What about the sides of it? Are the sides of it prickly too? Not really. Oh. These if you were to go like this, these they might be a prickly. little, but not really. A bit, a bit, but not really. Oh. Which, which one do you think is, is the, the best tasting? Well, depends what you like. That's, um, a very, that's very true. I have never had a kiwi, but it smells good. Yeah. And I have never had a coconut, but <laughs> I, don't know, I have the idea that it would smell tastes good, but you can't really smell it through the really hard shell because you can go ba 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 ba. Pretty happens. hard, huh? Ooh. And then I have never had a dragon fruit, but hmm, smells kind of fruity because well, it is a fruit. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and it's pink. And it's pink. The leaves are growing out of the skin of the fruit. That's really weird. Wow. That's it's really pretty, that's weird. That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's, that's a lot of good fruit, huh? Uh -huh. Okay, so now we can make a really weird fruit salad. Yeah. <laughs> With all this. a game. Some vehicles fly, some move on the ground. Can you tell me where each one moves? Where does the car go? Right, on the road. How about the airplane? Right, the airplane flies in the sky. Do you know where the train travels? That's right, the train travels on train tracks. What about the boat? Does the boat move on the ground? No, the boat floats on the water and sails away. So, we've been talking about lots of different forms of transportation, including the subway. And the subway is a kind of a train, and let's make the sound of a train. So let's use our shaker eggs here, or anything that sounds shaky in your house. 
and we're going to shake, 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 shake,